Hey guys, Alton here, and I want to welcome you to my free two and a half hour information security management fundamentals course here on my YouTube channel. So what I've done, I have my best selling 10 and a half hour course, and I pulled roughly around 25% of that course, and I provided that for you guys here for free on my YouTube channel to give you an idea of what's included in that huge entire 10 and a half hour course, and also just to provide you content for free here on my YouTube channel. Now we're gonna kick things off taking a look at the course's curriculum. This is a curriculum for the entire course. We're not gonna be covering everything, but we're gonna be covering a lot of topics in that course. So I wanted to make sure that I went over that here with the first YouTube video to give you an idea of what you're gonna learn here on YouTube. And at a later point, if you wanna take the full-fledged course, then you can do that as well and you get an idea of what's covered in the full-fledged 10 and a half hour course. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. I look forward to seeing you in the course. So let's go ahead and kick things off. In this video, I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about what we're gonna cover in this course. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the course curriculum. So this course is composed of 20 different sections. Right now, you're in the course introduction section. In section two is when we start talking about information security. So section two is all about getting started in information security. I introduce you to the many different areas of information security. We talk about some of the most valuable IT security certifications and also the state of cybersecurity and cybercrime in 2018 and beyond. From there, we jump to section three, which is our information security principles section, where we talk about things such as the CIA triad, AAA, least privilege, information security governance, authentication basics, and several other important concepts you need to know that relate to information security as fundamental topics. From there, we jump to section four, and section four is all about risk management. So. Information security is at its heart risk management. So we talk about quantitative and qualitative risk management. I talk about the risk management and risk assessment process. And we also talk about attack surface analysis. From there, we jump to section five and section five is on asset management. So when it comes to IT security, we are protecting assets and if we don't know what we have, then we can't protect them. So we talked about asset management in this section. We talk about identifying and classifying assets, the asset life cycle, data retention, and also understanding data states. From there, we jump to section six and section six is all about access control. And access control can either be physical or logical. So we talk about both of those. We talk about some access control models and we talk about the concept of defense in depth. Then we jump to section seven. And section seven is all about malware. So in section seven, we talk about our security malware threats, such as viruses, worms, Trojan horses, logic bombs, ransomware, rootkit, backdoors, and many others. So you're gonna learn about all the different types of security malware threats that exist. And then we jump to section eight, where we talk about some additional threats and vulnerabilities. So malware is not our only threats and vulnerabilities. There are other types of threats and vulnerabilities, such as social engineering, phishing, farming, protocol spoofing, and other things that we need to discuss. So we talk about that stuff in section eight. In section nine, we start taking a look at network security by talking about the basic network zones to make sure you understand what those are. So we talk about things such as a DMZ, the intranet, and an extranet, and so forth. And then we jump to section 10, which is our midway point for this course, and we start talking about network security specifically. So we talk about hardware firewalls, all the different types of firewalls, intrusion detection and intrusion prevention, and virtual private networks. From there, we continued our discussion talking about network security, focusing in in section 11 on the concept of network isolation and network segmentation, talking about things such as VLANs and honeypots and network address translation. And then we jump into section 12, which is all about wireless security. So 
I talk about all the different wireless standards, so WEP, WPA, WPA2, and WPA3, enterprise mode versus personal mode, and we also talk about some common wireless security threats that you need to be aware of as well. And then in section 13, we talk about security assessment and testing. So security assessment and testing relates to vulnerability assessments, penetration testing, auditing, and so forth. So we cover those frameworks in section 13 to give you an understanding of how penetration testers and ethical hackers perform security assessments and their various tests on networks and IT infrastructures. In section 14, we do a little bit of live demonstration. So as a bit of a segue from section 13, where we talked about vulnerability assessments and penetration testing, in section 14, we take a look at some common network scanning tools to give you an idea of how they work. So we take a look at things such as Wireshark, Nmap, and Nessus. And then in section 15, we talk about hardening our end user systems and servers so specifically ways in which we can lock down and make our end user systems and servers more secure and then we jump to our next section which is section 16 on the introduction to cryptography or in other words encryption and this is a very lengthy section so you're going to learn how encryption works. We're going to talk about symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. We're going to talk about hashing algorithms. We'll talk about digital certificates and certificate authorities. We'll talk about some use cases such as using encryption in email and for file system encryption and also VPNs. From there, we jump to the all important section 17 where we talk about incident response, disaster recovery, and business continuity. So it's not a matter of if an incident will occur or disaster will occur, it's when it'll occur. And we'd have to have methodologies to deal with incidents and disasters. And so we talk about the process of doing incident response, and we talk about the process of developing a disaster recovery plan and a business continuity plan in section 17. And then in section 18, we talk about personnel policies. So in IT security, it always starts with policies at the top and they trickle down to procedures and everybody needs to follow these policies and procedures. So we talk about things such as acceptable use, code of ethics, separations of duties, and so forth. And then in section 19, we have our two class mini case scenarios, and I'll talk about those a bit more on the next slide. And then section 20, we conclude the course. Now, in addition to all the lectures, there are a total of 15 section quizzes, and I recommend that you take them. So the sections that have a quiz, they will conclude with a quiz, and that quiz is going to give you a broad understanding of how well you know the information that was covered in that section. In addition to that, at the very end of the course, we have two class mini case scenarios that I created for you to work through, and this is going to test your overall knowledge of what was covered in the course. So that's it. That's what this course covers. This is a fairly lengthy course. In total, there are 117 lectures, so definitely quite lengthy, and we are just over 10 and a half hours in length at the time of recording this video. So if you have any questions about the course curriculum and what we cover, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.